Only Singaporeans get offended when you compare it to Malaysia. Food finders! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. We are going to JB in today's episode, the final episode of season five. We're gonna go try out some JB foods, some stuff that you could find in Singapore, but in JB, their version to see who did it best. And today we got also joining with us a special guest. His name is Tony. He's a very popular uh, JB enthusiast. He is from Singapore, but he goes to JB almost every day to go eat stuff. Cut to meeting Tony. Cut to meeting Tony. One almost eternity later. Tony! Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Can you see Tony? Can we see him? He's like so dark. Oh, yeah. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Tony Joho Kaki. This is a question for Tony. What do you think of the food in JB versus the food in Singapore? Some food you can find more easily in Singapore. Some things you cannot find in Singapore, but you can find in Johor Bahru. The Johor Bakute is different from Singapore Bakute. Johor Bakute is also different from the Klang Bakute, the, oh, okay. so, which is a savory herb. Which dish do you think does JB do better than Singapore? It is easier to find a good wonton mee in Johor Bahru than in Singapore. <laughs> We're gonna try that later, right? Yes, one of them. We're gonna try one of them. Great, if there's no more questions from Seth, let's go try out this kaya toast and kopi. Kaya toast, eggs, coffee, and they have other things too. They have many dishes with which they have for morning breakfast. Right, let's let's go, let's let's go. Let's let me, go talk about. Let me run through it. Show him through the food. Show me through the food. Okay, okay, don't talk so much. Huh? Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, okay, we are now at Wei Sen Yuan. It's actually on the second level of a row of shop houses. So we got soft boiled eggs over here and traditionally we will use a little bit of soy. Yeah. Right? Yes. And a little bit of white pepper, specifically yes. white pepper, yes. not black pepper. Yes. If you're a black pepper, I don't know where you're at. Okay. That's what it looks like. We have the traditional kaya and butter, chunks of butter. It's not like pre-melted and spreaded. It's like lobs of butter, Pieces right? Pieces of butter, yeah. yeah. And then the kaya, this one is actually not green. So you were saying... It's uh, made with coconut milk, eggs and sugar without pandan leaves. And then uh, egg and cucumber mm -hmm. toast. And we have the same version, but with sambal too. So this place, they toast their bread on charcoal. They make their own kaya once every couple of days when they finish. And the, you, you, you are not eating your soba eggs correct. Oh, and, really? Yep. I beat it up until it is very smooth. And then I drink it right off the saucer. Mm. And the thing I like about soba eggs uh, here, there's a certain egginess. Consistency of the egg is a little bit firmer. I agree. Malaysia eggs, like the yolk, is a bit more flavorful. In, in Singapore, you, you can choose like the large size and then the regular size. In Malaysia, most of the eggs, they're all one size. They're huge. The type of soy sauce used is a bit different. They use a light soy sauce. Yes. Whereas in Singapore, the dark soy sauce. Yes, yes. Singapore's light soy is like almost water to me sometimes. No. The kaya is great. I mean, in comparison to like the everyday brands we get in Singapore, I think they're good. A stronger coconutty flavor. It's very simple, but I feel like the right combination mm -hmm. and exactly the right technique makes it seem easy, but actually very hard to duplicate. All right, let's get on to this one. I want the sambal one. It's got a bit of kick, but it's not like hit you in the face spicy. Actually, it's not bad. There's a good blend of savory, spicy, sweet, and a bit of fresh taste from the cucumber. Not bad. The cucumber gives the, you that crunch. Yes. Like nasi lemak, mm. you got the cucumber, rice, and all that kind of stuff. This is like the, the sandwich version, I feel. Very good description. Yeah. Okay, so guys, so JB Kayatos or Singapore Kayatos, which is better? I, I can't answer a question like, Country versus country, right? So PC. No, we live here. We Tony, live. you're not gonna come. No, not gonna no, we live here. We, we cannot do. Oh, yeah. Generally speaking, I feel uh, you're gonna get better in this situation. Better, better JB or in Malaysia. We'll continue this Malaysia versus Singapore. Style. Oh no. <laughs> Singapore can win where? Uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> Only Singaporeans get offended when you compare it to Malaysia. Right, right, right. So we're back into the car. I have a burning question because obviously price 
and value is always a big thing for me. How much was all of that? So everything was 35. Oh my god, so expensive. 30, yeah. <laughs> so expensive, 35 <laughs> god! That was 10 SGD. If you had the same amount of stuff, like exactly the same, how much would that be in Singapore? I mean, at least 15 sing probably. 15 and 20. 15 or 20 yeah. yeah. We are at Abi's Wonton Mi, but if you are going to be here at JB and looking for it as you're passing the street, you're going to want to find Restaurant Lee Soon. All right, so the food's here now. Let's just go over really quickly because there's actually three varieties of Wonton Mi. The original, original one from JB is this one. It's called the White Wonton Mi, right? Yes. Yuan Wei or original flavor. So this yep. is mainly a lard based, oil based. Yes. You can order a chili version of that, but we just asked the chili on the side. So if we mix this, we get the red wonton mee, which is the common Singaporean. Common Singaporean preference. And then there's my preference, which is this one, the black wonton mee, which is the soy-based one. This is the preference of people that come north of Johor, let's say from Kuala Lumpur and Penang. And now because many people come from outside of Johor to work here, yep. so this has become more and more common, the black one. Anyways, I'm very excited okay. to try this. I can already feel that the texture of the noodle, very different. It's not so pong pong. I think this is a very big thing for me when it comes to wonton noodles. It must be this springy texture. The sauce coats the noodle, but you can see it's still quite runny. Uh, uh, oh my god. Mm. That texture of noodle is what it should be like. Anything less than that is not the right texture. Generally in Johor Bahru, char siu isn't its uh, strongest point. They use lean pork, so tend to be slightly drier. My personal preference is the, those in Kuala Lumpur. This is just like pure oil or? There should be shallot oil and uh, lard. And then a bit of soy sauce. I've never had it like this before. It was fucking nice as well. I thought it'd be more heavy, but it's actually very light. Because in uh, Johor Bahru, people tend to appreciate the noodles. Each mm. store will have a different texture, different feel, different flavor. The original one lets you taste the noodles the most. All right, so I mixed the white noodle with the chili now. That's probably more something uh, Singaporeans will be familiar with. It's not spicy. It's still savory, but with like a more of a chili side flavor to it. So I actually don't mind this combination yeah. together. Even though it is a Singapore version, I still feel this tastes better than mm. the Singapore version. And it could be because of the noodle specifically mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or the type of chili they use. I don't, I'm not sure. Do you prefer the Singaporean or JB wonton mee? There are quite a few similar standard shops in Johor Bahru selling this quality of wonton mee. So Johor Bahru, if I need a wonton mee, I have a sudden craving for it. I turn left and turn right, I am able to reach one quite easily. He didn't say it directly, but you take it that how you will. I am more accustomed to this one. I think the me, the texture is undeniable that it is better here. So anyways, we uh, are gonna eat it now. Yeah, please. <laughs> the crew, I mean, but I, 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 I polished off this one. Oh, you finished the black one? Yeah, I just what kept eating. What? All right, we're at here at the third location. Whoa. What? Hin Hock uh, Keda Bakute. But they're not only famous for their Bakute, they're also famous for their fish. They started off as a Bakute stock. Then later they introduced poached fish, which actually became more popular, which they dung in boiling water to cook it. After that, they splash their secret blend of soy sauce on it, cover it with fried garlic. Uh, we got the fish, we got some veg, uh, and then we got the herbal Bakute. And then, uh, oh god, oh this god. is not good. Too oh. much food. So we really got to tap out already. Originally, we came here for the fish and, and now it has evolved into a full meal. The fish lay eggs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be for you. Yeah, I like this bakuda. It is on the more of the medicine-y herbal yeah. level. But if you like herbal chicken, those herbal soups, mm -hmm. I think you will like this as well. It's quite watery. It's more watery, more yes. Watery, more soupy. This one has a bit more than a typical Johor bakuda. Meat's okay. Oh, quite tender. The the is tender, yeah. It's a higher looks. Unlike the Singapore ones, they give you small pieces of ribs with meat mm -hmm. instead of the whole, yeah. the whole bone. Yeah, let's try the fish. It's like... Just cooked, super delicate. Yes. I really like the soy mm -hmm. taste of this mm -hmm. one. There's so much fried garlic. I guess the, as the garlic soaks up some of the soy sauce, maybe it's not as crunchy anymore. So you get that sweet savoriness at front. As you keep chewing the garlic, then it's got that bitter garlic at the back. In other places, right, typically they will deep fry the fish. Yeah. And then they lay the, the garlic over it. But to poach it and to serve with their own blend of sauce plus this garlic, this is the only place in Johor Bahru that I know of. Does uh, JB enjoy What's that shrimp paste called? Blachan. 
belacan. Yes. Do they like a yes. lot of belacan? Yes, they, they use. Because Penang use this, this is, a lot of belacan. There's some belacan here. Less common flavor uh, yeah. that you'll find in standard Singapore Tzu Cha place. I haven't found a Singapore place that serves this. Balachan doesn't seem to be an ingredient that is heavily used in Singapore as much. You prefer this bakute, JB style, over Singapore bakute? So this would be one that is harder for me to compare because they're mm -hmm. two completely different dishes. Yeah. Personally, I, I grew up with herbal, so I like herbal. But I wouldn't say this is better than the Singapore pepper one. This is a poached fish versus the Singapore typical Tzu Cha. Like like steamed fish, which do you prefer? Singapore definitely has good to yeah. But I do feel this is a cut above. The amount of toppings they put, it, it's just like extra. Why is it necessary to have that much garlic? And I kind of <laughs> like that. Well, in Singapore, you might have something similar, but they would not go so far as to put a mountain of uh, fried garlic. And yep. I think for that, I choose this one. Singapore has some amazing to places. Off camera, most of the to place, the chef cheap. Come from here. <laughs> don't don't tell off, Singaporeans off that. Record, off the record, <laughs> We should wrap up and then head over to the very last mm -hmm. spot. Yay. We are a little bit behind on time and this place does generally close at 3. So we arrive here two. at just 2.30. Two. 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 2. So you can see everyone's actually packed up, but they just so happen to still be open. Tony yeah, yeah, jumped eating. out and yeah. asked and they were kind enough to oblige to let us try their Kui Tiao Kia. Taman so this Taksik. is the Taman Taksik Hawker Center. And then this is the Kui Tiao Kia store. Fortunately, they have still have some left. <laughs> this looks really good. That... Let's see what happens. I'm not a big organs fan, however, I am willing to try. Let's, Let's start with try the easy then. stuff. Kuei Tiao. Mm. Now, what's what's the big difference between Kuei Tiao and like, say like the herbally? The form is different, it's, a, it's like sheets of uh, rice. Whereas this is closer to Kuei Tiao. It's not as white, so it's called Kuei Tiao Kia. For Kuei Tiao Kia, the raising stock is a bit lighter. Kuei Tiao is more, more robust, heavier on soy sauce and less on Chinese spice. It's not as salty. Not as salty, uh, definitely not as salty. What try should the, I try first? Choose a pick, then I'll tell you what it is. Mm. Try, try I'm those. pretty sure I know uh, what this is. This, this is the this skin. Thing. This one, no, no. It's a tender kind of noodle like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> small piece. Okay, small okay. piece. This, you always pick the safer one, right? Uh, is it? This is safe. Very tender. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, nice. It's, right? That's actually quite nice. You like it, right? Mm. It's, oh it's hard. Oh, that's hard. It's pick hard. Yeah. Oh, it's quite meaty. Yeah. It's very meaty. Yeah. It's soft. Like it's, it feels yeah. like there's a lot of fattiness to it. But uh, is, is there no fat? No fat. Mm. It's a pure muscle. It's like. Tongue, but it's denser. Next one, next one. Okay, not bad, not bad so far. What's this? Oh, yeah. uh, maybe I don't uh, know. This one is very safe. Everything on this plate looks uh, okay, okay, okay. questionable to me. What part is, what part is I, this? I better be sure. I, okay, okay. Here we okay. go. Enjoy it first. Nice, it's very nice. Soft crunch, soft tender. It is soft, the texture is there. It tastes is like it's, it's a version of the braised meat, yes. I feel. Yes. It's kind of like chewing the uh, hard fat. What do you think it is? Baguette, yes. Man, is this the uterus or something? Not yet. <laughs> Not, yet. <laughs> Not yet. It is as near to the exit of the body as possible. Is that the anal? Almost. It's the pipe leading, oh, is, is it leading the to the anus. Is the small intestine? The big intestine. Big intestine? Big intestine. Big yeah. I thought it goes big intestine, then small intestine. Big, small, then the anus. Yes. So this is the anus. The colloquial word is the anus. Okay, okay. okay. It is so oh, it is that is the anus. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. That's why that's why it has a certain kind of tension. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was the first time I had anus. Don't use that word. An yeah. anus is an anus. Try to relax your anus. A better word for anus, which is maybe not as accurate, is colon. Colon. It started to rain, so if audio gets a bit fuzzy here, it's because it's raining out on that side. Okay, what part is this? No problem. It's soft, kind of like a meaty cheese texture or something. It's actually the, the part of the uterus. Oh, that, uh, that's the uterus. Part, you know the uterus and then the, uh, the left and right, the, 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 the tubes inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you put it in the mouth and you taste, there is no strange or funny taste, right? No, no, Absolutely no. Absolutely no. No, no. Yeah. It's, it's a pure texture thing. Yeah. All right, let's try the small intestine. This, 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 this is tongue. This is tongue. Ah, this is heart. okay. This is heart. And this is heart. Heart. Okay. Yeah, so I got it wrong. Got it wrong. Nice, right? That's actually quite nice. You like it, right? Mm. It's, oh it's hard. Oh, that's hard. It's big hard. So the first oh. one, the first one was redo, redo. We'll just figure it out in post. Just, this looks lousy on me. Eh. I got it wrong. Eh. Oh, it's not. See again. Ah. 
No, I shave my bag, you know. This time around, having eaten all these offals a few times now, it's mm. less icky for less me. Less icky. Will you come back again? <laughs> if, if I ever, you know. Do you prefer this way piao? Yeah, or I don't know, Singapore's Kway Chap. Generally speaking, right? I feel that the best Kway Chap in Singapore, I, I like better than the best Kway Tiao Kia in Johor Bahru. The ones that I have in Singapore, the flat, long texture, mm -hmm. I like that a bit more and I feel that's a bit saltier, which I enjoy a bit more. This is still a very enjoyable meal, representative of staple mm -hmm. in Johor Bahru. It's raining heavily, we're gonna get back to the car and just sum up uh, our thoughts for our JB food trip. So we're back in the car. Favorite dish of the day? Favorite dish? I like the wonton mee. I like the wonton, wonton mee. I, I personally like the wonton mee. That and maybe the fish. Mm from the Zizha place. I thought that amount of garlic and the sauce, great combination. What, what are your thoughts regarding like JB food versus Singapore, the equivalent in Singapore so far? It's hard to say that one is overall better than the other 100%, right? In certain areas, yes. In certain areas, no. Generally speaking, I, I feel like Singapore has such a huge volume of hawkers everywhere. Some places just do that better here. I think they care a little bit more sometimes. In some dishes, Singapore stores are stronger than the, the equivalent in Johor Bahru. For example, uh, Kuei Chap. I, I think it's partly restrictions as well. Hygiene and like, you know, the things that you can't make it, your know, pig's blood, like, you know, we banned that already. Also, maybe that kind of restricts the uh, creativity. What do you think Singapore does yeah. better for street food versus Malaysia, right? You know, leave us a comment. This concludes the final episode of uh, Food Finder Season 5. Let us know, you know what kind of format you like. Do follow a G Kuei, do follow Johor Kaki. Thank you and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for having See me. See you Thanks. guys next time. Bye. Bye. We're gonna take like a quick like one month, two month break and we'll be back with season six. Okay. See you guys. And the lard is translucent, oil saturated. You can smell it. Huh? And you bite into it, mm. it, it bursts into your mouth yes. and the flavour goes up to your nasal. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> you... Alright, Tony, so... Tony's really in, like in into love. his lard. You, you, you want to die and then he says it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs>